right, this is the Brishamark 4. Uh, assembly is complete and uh, it's time to go through the um, pre-flight check. Now the first thing you have to do is to get the firmware and put it on the USB card. Uh, Prusha supplied that drive. It had the firmware on it. It's actually the latest firmware, so I don't expect it's going to update, but if it needs to update, it's going to update off the USB stick when I turn that on. Booting. All right, uh, how is your original Prusa Mark IV printer? Guide through the process, etc. Okay. Um, step one, uh, attach, actually it says put the heat, heat, put the steel sheet on first, but I'm doing it second. So I'm putting this on. This is the nice new PEI sheet, which is for PLA. Um, there it is. Uh, let's begin calibration. Testing fans. I can see the RPM is showing at the bottom of the screen there, so they look like they're working. And uh, Fast little fan, 6,700 RPM. Alright, load cell test. Uh, so this is one of the new features. Um, this is why you don't care about the alignment of the Y-axis sheet very much, because it checks before every print, and it checks only the area it's going to print in, and you get a perfect first layer every time, apparently. So the load cell has to be calibrated. Um, all right, tap on the nozzle on the beep. Passed. Nice. Axis calibration, so I guess it's going to move all around and make sure that the full range of motion is smooth and available. There are no cables snagging or nothing blocking it. It's obviously in a very bad place right now, sitting on a cardboard box but it's probably going to live on top of the cupboard here in my very small office and um, I just can't film it there so right now it's down here as soon as this finishes I'll move it up there and put some filament in it and start going through the queue of things that I've been waiting to print for a long time it feels like I haven't had a printer for months but it's really only been about five weeks Now the printer's heating up, checking the nozzle heater and the heat bed heater and the thermistor. And I think this is going to be pretty boring, so I'm probably going to fast forward through this a little bit. The hot bed always seems to go a bit slower. Gearbox alignment. Alright, I am going to have to do gearbox alignment because I did put this gearbox together myself. Uh, so I need to open this and release the idler gears. And then undo each of these screws by one and a half turns. Okay. And I can tell one and a half because I'm using the label on the hex driver. Alright, gearbox alignment. Um, tighten the M3 screws in the order uh, one, two, three. So one is here, back one and a half, one and a half, two, is one and a half, three is one and a half. And we're done. Close the idler door. Continue. 
Okay, next up, filament sensor calibration. Um, start without filament in the extruder. There is no filament in the extruder. All right, insert the filament. Filament inserted, yeah, continue. Calibrating, remove filament. Nice. Uh, by the way, this is the filament that I got in the kit. Uh, two little tiny reels. Um, which kind of sucks. I, I got a full reel with the Mark III. Anyway, uh, self-test okay. It's looking like it's all right. Great. What now? I'm not going to configure Wi-Fi or anything now. I guess I'll press the button. Happy printing, thank you. Yeah, I'll do that later. Print. Um, all right. Filament. Uh, maybe I'll load some filament. I might try and print a grey thing. Use some of this PLA that I got. So that should load PLA. Alright, well, I hope that's going to work if I do that. I think it should. Loading filament. Alright, I think it's going to need to do a little bit of a little bit of heating first. Yeah. All right, loading filament. Um, can't see it yet. Purging. Um, purge more. It's definitely dragging the filament in there. Oh, there it goes. Nice. Color correct. That's the first color it ever had. All right, return. Um, 